Okay, so good morning. Today the topic of our discussion is in continuation with my previous video that is percentage. Here we will be discussing about multiplying factor. Percentage we already had a discussion in previous video. And in that we have seen that how to find percentage. Uh, the two formulas we used there. One is if we want to find x as a percentage of y. So it is x by y in 200. Then second one we went for finding out x percentage of y and it was equal to xy by 100. So in this, these two formulas we used to express a given number as a percentage of another number and also to find some percentage of a number, another percentage. Okay. So x percentage of y, like this we solved the equations and problems. Here we are going to find out the multiplying factor. So multiplying factor means it is also for increase and decrease. Earlier we found percentage. Now we will be adding it to its original value and then we will find that the final value will be what. So if there is an increase, there is an increase, then multiplying factor will be 1 plus r by 100. So 1 plus r by 100, r is rate of percentage, where r is equal to rate of increase or decrease, or decrease. So here in this case rate of increase, means which will be given in percentage. 1 plus r by 100 can also be written as 100 plus r by 100. This is first one. Second one, if there is a decrease, if there is a decrease, then multiplying factor will be 1 minus r by 100, which can also be written as 100 minus r by 100 r is rate of decrease here, rate of decrease which will be given in percentage. So these two formulas we are going to use it in various problems and further we will see that how this is applicable in our day to day life by solving Problems which are related to our life, day to day life. Okay, so let us proceed. Here we are given the question that if there is an original value 20, percentage increase has taken place as 5. So here increase is there. So which formula we will be utilizing? We will be utilizing the formula 100 plus R by 100. Okay. So here the percentage increase is 5. So first one it is 100 plus 5 by 100 and which will be 105 by 100 that is 1.05. So multiplying factor will be 1.05. Now new value. So new value how we will be finding? We need to multiply original value into multiplying factor. 
ओके लेट मी राइट प्रॉपरली ओरिजिनल वैल्यू इन टू मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर सो दिस विल बी गिविंग टू अस एज ट्वेंटी इंटू वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एंड दिस वन विल बी इक्वल टू सो टू इंटू टेन पॉइंट फाइव एंड दट इज ट्वेंटी वन सो न्यू वैल्यू हैज बिकम ट्वेंटी वन in this way we need to fill it up similarly uh, we are given 180 as original value percentage increase has taken place as 95 so this one multiplying factor will be 100 plus 95 so 195 by 100 which will be equal to 1.95 and now we need to multiply here new value will come as 180 into 1.95 okay so we need to multiply and it is giving to us as 351 similarly 360 and multiplying factor is given to us as 1.30 it means this 1.30 it means it is 130 by 100 And one thirty by hundred means it is hundred plus thirty. One thirty by hundred means hundred plus thirty by hundred. So it means thirty percent increase has taken place. So here we will be writing thirty. Here three sixty into one point three zero we need to do. Okay. And it is giving to us as four sixty eight. After multiplication, similarly two five zero zero one point seven zero. It is one seventy by hundred. It means hundred plus seventy. So seventy percent increase has taken place. The new value will be two thousand five hundred into one point seven zero. And it is giving to us as four two five zero. New value. Similarly, we will be solving question related to decrease here, and the decrease formula to find multiplying factor for decrease. It is hundred minus r by hundred. Okay. Here we are given that first one twenty percent twenty is original value percentage decrease is five. Therefore, percentage decrease is given to us as five. So multiplying factor will be equal to hundred minus five by hundred. and it is giving to us as 95 by 100 that is 0.95 so here it will become 0.95 multiplying factor new value will be 20 into 0.95 and this is equal to 19 now second one 180 percentage decrease is 95 multiplying factor will be so 100 minus 95 so it is 5 it is 100 minus 95 by 100 it is giving to you as 5 by 100 it is 0.05 so multiplying factor will be 180 into 0.05 and it will be equal to 
Similarly, 360 already we are given multiplying factor as 0 0.70. It means 100 minus 30 by 100 has given to us as 70 by 100, which we have written as 0 0.70. Right? So the percentage decrease has taken place as 30 percentage. 30 percent decrease has taken place. Our new multiplying or multiplying factor is 0 0.70 already it is given. So 360 into 0 0.70 will be 252 new value. Similarly for 2500 decrease has taken place 100 minus 70 by 100 which has given to us as 30 by 100. That's why here it is 0 0.30. It means the percentage decrease has taken place 70. Okay. And new value will be 2500 into 0 0.30. Okay. 750. Right. Now here, in this question number 3, A is given, we are given already $1,500, $1,500 is given to us. We need to find for 1% increase, then 99% increase, then 10% increase and 90% increase. So we need to use multiplying factor simply. So for A, 1% increase is there, multiplying factor will become 101 by 100, it is 1.01. So the new value will be $1500 into 1.01. So the two zeros will be utilized to remove the decimal, we can write dollar 15 into 101 and it will be equal to 1 dollar 1515 okay similarly for b multiplying factor will be 199 by 100 it is 1.99 and we need to multiply for new value. This is for new value. That is dollar one five zero zero into one point nine nine. Okay. So it is two nine eight five. C multiplying factor will become 110 by 100 so that is 1.10 and new value will be dollar 1500 into 1 1.10 which you can write as 15 into 110 okay so 0 15 1 dollar 1650 okay Similarly for D, the multiplying factor will be equal to 1.90. New value will be dollar $1500 into 1.90 which will be equal to 15 into 190 and 0, 9, 30, 135, so 513, 15 plus 13, 28, 2850, okay? Right. Here in the same way, we have to go for decrease. So multiplying factor will be 100 minus R by 100. So for A, 
वन परसेंट डिक्रीज इज देयर सो इट मीन्स हंड्रेड माइनस वन बाय हंड्रेड इट इज नाइंटी नाइन बाय हंड्रेड विच इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन देन न्यू वैल्यू विल बी फाइव हंड्रेड के जी इंटू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन ओके सो दिस वन विल बी सिंपली फाइव हंड्रेड इंटू नाइंटी नाइन सॉरी द टू जीरोज विल बी यूटिलाइजिंग टू रिमूव दी डेसीमल सो फाइव इंटू नाइंटी नाइन दिस इज के जी सो दिस वन विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस फाइव दैट इज फोर नाइंटी फाइव के जी ओके बी नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट देन हंड्रेड माइनस नाइंटी नाइन बाय हंड्रेड इट इज वन बाय हंड्रेड सो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन न्यू वैल्यू विल बी फाइव हंड्रेड के जी इंटू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन विच इज इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू वन ओनली दैट इज फाइव के जी ओके राइट सी टेन परसेंट देन इट इज हंड्रेड माइनस टेन बाय हंड्रेड दैट इज नाइंटी बाय हंड्रेड एंड जीरो पॉइंट नाइन जीरो द मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर न्यू वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव हंड्रेड के जी इंटू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन जीरो विच इज फाइव इंटू नाइन ओनली नो नो फाइव इंटू नाइंटी ओके टू रिमूव दी डेसीमल एंड इट विल बी इक्वल टू फोर फिफ्टी फोर फिफ्टी के जी फोर फिफ्टी के जी ओके राइट नो क्वेश्चन नंबर डी इज ऑल्सो देयर so for d 100 minus 90 so it is 90 percent decrease has taken place 100 minus 90 by 100 so it is giving to us as 10 by 100 that is 0.1 0.10 new value is equal to 500 kg into 0.10 5 into 10 kg, and this is 50 kg. Okay, 50 kg. Now, statement type questions are there. Question number five, I will be solving at the top only. right an emperor penguin weighs 40 kg and gains 70% of its weight before losing its feathers so that it can survive the extreme temperatures of antarctica find the penguin's weight just before it loses its feathers so original weight is 40 kg original weight is 40 kg percentage increase is 70% then multiplying factor is 170 by 100 that is 1.70 so new weight is equal to 40 into 1.70 okay right 1.70 which will be making us to get 4 into 17 and then it will become 68 kg okay 40 into 1.70 will give you 
68 kg all right question number 6 uh, a bottle nose dolphin weighed 650 kg while carrying its baby calf okay dolphin after it gives birth to the calf its weight is reduced by 4% so find the dolphin's weight just after giving birth so original weight is 650 kg and weight reduced by 4% multiplying factor 100 minus 4 by 100 it is 96 by 100 that is 0.96 therefore new weight or you can say dolphin's weight just after giving birth like a sentence problem is there so we need to write dolphin's weight just after birth will be equal to 650 kg into 0.96 so it is giving to us at 624 kg okay similarly question number 7 we need to solve we'll solve here madeva pays uh dollar 12000 into an investment and it appreciates by 12% after one year appreciates means it will be increasing okay so investment original value is equal to dollar 12000 increase is equal to 12% multiplying factor 112 by 100 that is 1.12 new value is equal to 12000 dollar into 11 1.12 okay one two which will be further can be written as so two zeros will be utilizing to remove the decimal and it is 112 now this has become 12 24 and 12 1 12 2 14 then 1 12 1 13 so it has become 1 3 4 4 okay right question number 8 is what iris buys a new car for 45000 and it depreciates by 12% after one year depreciate means decrease has taken place okay appreciate means increase has taken place depreciate means decrease has taken place find the values of iris car after a year so i feel that now my students have understood uh, what is increase what is decrease how to find the multiplying factor so no need to go for more explanation uh, of just like a kid now they have understood it very well so directly immediately they will be able to find out that what is the multiplying factor and uh, simply multiplication has to be done like in question number 8 8 so the value is 45000 so here multiplying factor is 12% after one year which is decrease is taking place so 100 minus 12 by 100 so it is giving to us as 88 by 100 that is 0.88 okay so new value will be dollar 45000 into 88 sorry not 88 0.88 use two zeros to remove the decimal 450 dollar into 88 and then we need to multiply okay 
right so it will be dollar 39600 okay similarly a rare sculptor question number 9 is worth this much pound and appreciates by 8% per annum find the value of a sculptor after one year so now i will be doing directly new value will become okay into multiplication factor will be because it has increased 100 plus 8 percent per annum so it is 108 by 100 which is 1.08 and it is 1.08 use two zeros to remove the decimal four zeros are there so two zeros will be removed into 108 okay so we can multiply very well 0 0 12 at 96 right 9 9 12 so it has become dollar 1 2 9 6 0 0 then question number 10 again new value of this time where depreciation has taken place okay so depreciation means here again 2500 pound sorry here pound is there not dollar okay 2500 pound depreciation is taking place 100 minus 8 so it is 92 by 100 which is 0 0.92 multiplying factor is 0 0.92 we can remove two zeros and we can put it like this so it has become 55 okay 225 plus 5 to 30 okay Fifty, so it will be two three zero zero. Okay. And that is pound. Okay, coming to exercise four. Now it will be fast. We can do it fast. Multiplications and other things to find multiplying factor. Okay. So, we are given uh, 60 seconds, we are given 15, sorry 75 seconds, we are not given percentage increase, we are not given multiplying factor. So, the very first thing is to find out that how much increase has taken place. So, in first one, increase is 75 minus 60, 75 second minus 60 second is equal to 15 second and 15 second is the percentage of 60 so how we can find out 15 second as percentage of 60 second remember the first formula okay and in previous exercise also you can see so 15 by 60 into 100 so 15 4 and it is 25 so the increase has taken place as 25 percent so increase percentage is 25 multiplying factor will become 1.25 okay hmm. so similarly for another one 50 and 80 increase has taken place 80 kg minus 50 kg is equal to 30 kg and further we need to find 30 as percentage of 80 sorry not 80 kg 50 kg original one 50 kg so we will be writing 30 by 50 into 100 is 2 so it is 60 percent increase has taken place okay so percentage increase is 60 multiplying factor is 1.60 similarly here 
uh, we are given multiplying factor 1.25 in third one this is third one so it means increase has taken place as 25 percentage right and uh, here we do not know so if suppose we are putting it as x kilometer per hour because it is kilometer per hour so suppose we feel that it is x kilometer per hour it means x into 1.25 will be giving to us as 125 kilometer per hour right further dividing both side by 1.25 we have got x is equal to 125 by 1.25 and which you can write as 125 by 125 into 100 this has got cancelled and it is 100 so it is equal to 100 kilometer per hour so like this we can solve right here also percentage increase is given to us as 20 percent so it will become 1.20 and 1500 we have got similarly we will be putting it as x kilometer per hour and we will solve it so how we are going to solve we are going to solve x into 1.20 so this one sorry it is not kilometer per hour it will be meter it will be meter because here meter is given unit so x into 1.20 is equal to 1500 therefore x is equal to 1500 divided by 1.20 which you can further write as 1500 by 120 into 100 and then now we can cancel it so we are given uh, okay 1010 zero, zero we will cancel then 5 not with 5 2 5 ja 10 2 6 ja 12 then with 3 we can go 3 2 ja 6 and 3 500 and we have got 2500 by 2 so it will be giving to us 1 2 2 ja 4 5 0 okay so 1 2 5 0 meter right yes one two five zero similarly this one is there we have to fill it up with percentage decrease so again we need to find the difference 75 second minus 60 second is equal to 15 second and 15 second we need to find as percentage of 75 second so this is giving to us as 15 by 75 into 100 5 20 so 20 percentage decrease has taken place decrease okay so now percentage decrease will be 100 minus 20 by 100 that is 80 by 100 okay per sorry percentage decrease is only 20 percent no need to write percentage here it will be 100 minus 20 by 100 that is 80 by 100 that is 0 0.80 okay now 80 kg is there and 50 kg is there the difference is 50 kg is 30 kg as percentage of 80 kg so we need to find 30 by 80 into 100 zero zero cancelled okay and it will be giving to us as two four two five ja ten two four eight right and then two if we are cancelling so it is coming as fifteen 
Hmm. So it is 15.575 by 2 percentage. Okay. So it is not completely divisible. 75 by 2 percentage we can write. So percentage decrease has taken place or we can divide it also. So it will be 236. 14.5 percentage so decrease is 37.5 no need to write percentage similarly multiplying factor will be 100 minus 37.5 by 100 okay so it is 62.5 by 100 and the multiplying factor will become 0 0.625 okay multiplying factor will be 0 0.625 okay right similarly 120 kilometer per hour is there and multiplying factor is given to us as 0 0.60 it means 100 minus 40 by 100 which has given to us as 140 no no ha ah, yes so it will be giving to us as 60 by 100 and 0 0.60 is the multiplying factor so percentage decrease has taken place is 40 percent now new value we can find with point two point six zero. so this is 72 kilometer per hour similarly 1500 is there percentage decrease is there 120 percent so 100 minus 20 by 100 it is giving us as 80 by 100 that is 0 0.80 and we need to multiply so this has given us 1200 meter Okay, now we are given a $24 box of luxury chocolates. It's sold in Canada where the inflation rate is 2% per annum, means increase. Find the new price of these chocolates in Canada after a year. So just simply $24 into and as increase has taken place, so it is 102 by 100 which is multiplying factor will give us as 1.02. So this we will be multiplying and we will get 24 to 48, okay, 424, right? So 24.48 dollar, okay, right. Next one, the cost of oil is... 45 dollar per barrel and the prices goes through a deflation where decrease is taking place rate of 12 percent per annum so it is 100 minus 12 by 100 so it is 88 by 100 multiplying factor will become 0 0.88 find the new price of a barrel after one year so dollar 45 into 0 0.88 will give us Okay, 339.6, 39.6, okay, right. Similarly, for question number 5, Persian rug is worth 5750 pound, it goes through an increase of 5% followed by, so increase, followed by a second increase of 12%, find the price of the rug after the second increase okay right so for this first increase it will be 1.05 multiplying factor so here two multiplying factors are there two multiplying factors are there one is 
hundred five by hundred and another one that is one point zero five and one one two by hundred that is one point one two. We need to multiply simultaneously. Okay, so price of the rug is equal to pound five seven five zero into one point zero five and again one point one two. Okay, so this we need to multiply. and this is given to us as 6762 uh yes yes one minute 6762 so this is sorry not like this Six seven six two. Now a super size high definition TV costs seven thousand five hundred pound. It goes through a decrease of ten percent, followed by a second decrease of twelve percent in the sales. Goes through a decrease of ten percent, and then second decrease also is taking place. So find the price of the TV after the second decrease. Okay, so question number six. Let me solve here. So again, two multiplying factors. One is hundred minus ten by hundred. It is zero point nine zero by hundred. That is zero point nine zero. Another multiplying factor. Twelve by hundred. So that is zero point eight eight. Now the price of the TV is equal to seven five zero zero into zero point nine zero into zero point eight eight, and it will be giving to us. multiplication we will get 5940 we are getting 5940 similarly question number 7 okay the temperature in doha qatar on 1st june is 40 degree centigrade over the next 2 days this temperature increases by 10% followed by a decrease of 10% earlier we were finding decrease decrease and increase increase type of problems here increase and decrease both have taken place okay so first multiplying factor where increase is there like this arrow i am creating or let me write in words itself this is 110 by Hundred because ten percent has increased. That is one point one zero will be the multiplying factor. Second, second multiplying factor. Decrease. So it is ten percent decrease. Hundred minus ten by hundred. That is ninety by hundred, and it is zero point nine zero. Okay. Now. Uh, this 40 degree centigrade new value so the temperature on 3rd june will be equal to 40 into 1.10 into 0.90 okay So it will become thirty nine point six degree 
सेंटीग्रेड द टेम्परेचर ओके नाउ अ लाउड क्लैप ऑफ थंडर इज मेजर्ड एट अ नॉइज लेवल ऑफ 120 ट्वेंटी डेसिबल्स द यूनिट फॉर मेजरिंग साउंड ओके डेसिबल इज द यूनिट फॉर मेजरिंग साउंड द नेक्स्ट टू थंडर क्लैप रजिस्टर अ डिक्रीज ऑफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट फॉलोड बाय अ ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इंक्रीज इज नॉइज लेवल हाउ लाउड इन डेसिबल्स इज द थर्ड थंडर क्लैप ओके question we need to understand it properly loud clap of thunder is measured at a noise level of 120 decibel generally okay so the next two thunder claps register a decrease of 20% followed by a 25% increase in noise level so how loud how loud in decibel is the third thunder thunder clap so here also two multiplying factors we have got 2 mf two multiplying factors first one first multiplying factor so decrease of 20% 100 minus 20 by 100 so this is giving 80 by 100 that is 0.80 second multiplying factor increase is there 25% increase so 100 minus 25 by 100 so this is 75 by 100 that is 0.75 therefore noise level of third thunder clap is equal to 120 decibel which is original value 120 into 0.80 which has decrease has taken place this multiplying factor into this one 0.75 okay and this is giving to us as one point after multiplication seventy two decibels. So the noise level is seventy-two decibels. Okay, in this, a circular drop of oil has a radius of ten centimeter. If this radius increases by five percent, then by ten percent, and finally by fifteen percent, find the new area of the circle. Okay. So radius is giving given to us. radius r is equal to 10 cm now the radius is increasing by 5% so first multiplying factor will be 105 by 100 and equal to 1.05 second multiplying factor 10% increase so 110 by 100 that is 1.10 and also third multiplying factor it is 115 by 100 that is 1.15 okay so we need to find the new radius first so it is 10 cm into 1.05 into 1.10 into 1.15 okay right so this has become 13 point uh we can make it as 3 28 is there 2825 we can make it as 13.3 we can use it as 13.3 one place of decimal centimeter therefore we need to find the new area of the circle utilizing the formula a is equal to pi r square 
and pi we are using at 3.14 pi value 3.14 will be using into okay so let me write first as pi and this has become r1 pi r1 square so 3.14 into r1 so 13.3 whole square okay So this has given 176.89 into OK and further when we are multiplying so it is giving to us as 555.4 OK. what centimeter square because radius is in centimeter so the unit also will be in centimeter square okay again a circular drop of oil has a diameter of 10 centimeter here it is given in previous question it was given radius but here diameter is given okay so in a circle you know that this is the diameter which is passing through the center of the circle this is the diameter a b o is the center this is the radius okay so d is equal to 2 r diameter of a circle is two times of the radius two times of the radius so here we are given diameter as 10 centimeter so it means radius is equal to d by 2 which is 10 by 2 and 5 centimeter okay now right so let us not write this thing now let us solve it the diameter and at the last we will go for uh, making it so from here r is equal to d by 2 this formula we can utilize now this diameter is decreasing by 5% then by 10% and finally by 15% so it is decreasing now so first multiplying factor that is 100 minus 5 100 minus 5 by 100 I am simply writing it is 95 by 100 so it is 0 0.95 second multiplying factor it is decreasing by 10% so it is 90 by 100 so 0 0.90 and third multiplying factor okay it is decreasing by 15 percent so 85 by 100 so it is 0 0.85 okay in previous one we can see that we kept on writing 1.05 1.10 1.15 because it was increasing here it is decreasing okay right therefore the new diameter will be equal to 10 centimeter into 0 0.95 into 0 0.90 into 0 0.85 okay right and it has given us at 7.26 or 7.3 correct to one place of decimal right 7.3 centimeter now we need to find the new circumference of the circle so there is no need to find any r why because circumference is consisting of 2 r into pi already okay so this pi is already available here pi is there 2 r is there where d is equal to 2 r only we are going to utilize so no need to go for finding out radius so this 2 r this is actually 2 r 1 2 r 1 new diameter so 2 r 1 into pi then it is 7.3 into 3.14 
and it is 22.9 cm so the circumference of the new circle will become 22.9 cm so in this way we have solved these problems and you may be required to use calculator also sometimes because more number of calculations are there long calculations are there so you may utilize calculator also if you feel so thank you very much we will meet once again with the next video of exercise 5 and 5 star very soon